Hey guys, welcome back. This is a second look at my Lenovo X220 from 2011, which I think is probably one of the best Linux laptops you can get. Very, very cheap. Great, great keyboard. A few ports. Battery isn't terrible. Get about one, maybe just under two hours, I guess, at the minute. Although it doesn't exactly get a workout, this one. No, it's actually used by uh, my eldest son most of the time. And he likes to do things like Scratch. Scratch is like a, like a visual programming language where you just drag blocks to build up some logic and then you can do things like move a sprite around the screen that kind of stuff used it to do his homework recently which was make a little pirate game on there and i think we'll put that on the on the uh, channel shortly if we can he actually wants something a little bit more i thought i would put retro arch on here but actually we have a uh, bathosera on uh, mac mini the, in in the family room he quite likes this Batosera image now and we've got a few retro games on there and whatnot so actually I think what we're going to do is we're going to install Batosera on this laptop as a separate OS on the same disk so we're still going to look at putting Windows on here Windows 11 and that will probably just be for kind of proof of concept I guess what we will use it for is Linux me and my son will use it whenever we need a Linux machine or if I want a Linux machine I'll use it and mostly my son uses this one now and my son wants to have Batocera. Now this isn't a recommended way of installing it. Batocera does include documentation on how to do it but they don't recommend you do it. They'd rather you use a USB stick and that's fine. We've actually lost quite a few USB sticks over the years where we've pulled it out of the back of whatever our gaming machine is and we've taken it somewhere, plugged it in, used it, fine, unplugged it, brought it back and somewhere along Along the way it's got lost you know and we can't find them and there's probably a collection of these Batocera imaged USB drives around here now but we can never find them again so what we're gonna do is just install it to the disk itself okay so let's just get logged in a second so we want desktop laptop NUC we will let Batocera download and then we'll pick it up again let's see if we've got uh, gparted inside the uh, the demonstration of Linux Mint we do okay so let's resize this partition now the first thing we want is we actually need another partition which is going to be our boot partition it doesn't need to be very big so it's usually about 7 gig and we will call this Batocero it is going to be a fat 32 format and then this one is going to be all of the rest of the space this one needs to be an x24 file are you sure you want to apply these I'm very sure Resizing the disk in Apple is very easy, very quick. Resizing the disk in Linux seems to be a little bit more complicated, but also really a lot slower. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll boot back into Linux Mint. All right, okay, so we need to get the boot tar file. So let's just see if we can do this. Let's move it to our Batasera image, the 10 gigabit one. I don't know why that's got a name like that. I should have the name Batasera. Maybe it's because we didn't give it a proper label. I don't know if that's going to come back and bite us later on, but we need to unarchive this boot file. We've extracted the file. We now have a file. We do need to make a change to this file. Otherwise, we risk overwriting all of the free space on the disk. So we do I guess. We want to change the automatically resize we want to change this so now we need a grub file for this terminal we need to get the file from https key.batosera.org slash uh, underscore export slash uh, right okay so we've got the grub file we now need to go back into here we need to tell our machine to accept that so we're gonna sudo or change mod sudo update grub i did not see that it found our image Okay, so the problem was that when I first created those partitions, I didn't label them. I gave them a name, but I didn't give them a label. And this script here I was looking for the label Batasera, and then whatever the unique ID, that doesn't matter. We should now be able to reboot and hopefully be presented with a grab file and have the option of booting into Batasera. So let's have a look what happens. Right, so now we've got Linux Mint, we've got advanced options, and we've got Batasera. So let's hit Batasera. Okay, that's what we wanted. Now, normally when you run Batasera for the first time on a USB stick, 
it immediately fills up the rest of that stick. And let me just turn that down. And we've told it not to bother doing that. This is now ready. Obviously, this is just a default one, so there are no kind of games on there at the moment. I mean, it says there's one game. I don't know what game is on there. Oh, okay, it's just nonsense games. The next thing I'm going to do is I have like my normal BIOS and ROMs that I have on my stick. I'll just pull out the USB stick from my other machine and we should be good to go. That's it. Bathysera is now running. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and copy the ROMs and the BIOS information for the images I want to uh, use and I'll, I'll also put a different theme in here. I'll do that off camera because it's quite a slow process. There are a lot of files to collect. There's nothing I'm going to be showing that uh, is is unique to this system this is what you would do on all systems you've got your batter set up you now need to get all your roms and biases where you get those in it from it's a little bit difficult to talk about in a youtube video because let's say it's frowned upon okay so i think you can ask me in comments below if you need that kind of information i could probably help you but if you go to something like archive.org and just search for batter i mean this one's version 37 if you said something like batter version 37 full rom list or something like that you'll you'd probably find, um, sorry, not ROMs, BIOS. You'd find the BIOS, which is how each console works. It's how Batasera knows how to emulate that particular console. You can go ahead and find lots of BIOSes. The ROMs in the, in the perfect world, you should own all the games. You should have backed them up somehow to your machine using something. I know this isn't the perfect world and there are places you can find ROMs. And if you do need help, just ask me in the comments. Okay, thank you.